In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these emoji hot eye bottle cap um, things out of pretty much free materials. This is super easy, but it comes out so cute. Uh, you don't have to make the hot eye one, but I'm just showing you how to make that extra step. Basically, um, if you don't want to do a hot eye one and you want to do another one, follow the step when I show you how to do the face, the, the smiley. Uh, you can make these into a magnet. This one currently is not a magnet, but it will be. You can also um, drill a hole in your bottle cap before placing um, the emoji down in order to make it a charm. Or you can glue on with really strong glue. Um, some sort of charm or pin on the back. You can also put these down in blank jewelry backings. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. It's going to be really cheap and really easy. I have a pre-cut out yellow circle already. But what you're going to do is you're going to take, you can go to Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, a lot of Walmarts have them. Lots of places have them. They are completely free and they are they're ever so sutter paint strips. So a lot of these are already cut out. Um, but you can get these that have the multiple colors or you can get these that are just the plain. So you're going to need that. And I recommend also using a one inch hole punch. These can be super cheap online or in Micros and Durands, especially with the coupons. If you don't have one of those, you can maneuver how to just place down, obviously not on black, but um, how to just place down the bottle cap back down, trace around it, and try to cut it out as neat as you can. Um, but yes, the bottle caps, I always recommend doing recycled ones rather than buying them because if you don't drink or you're not old enough or your family doesn't drink, you can always normally find them just laying around and also helps tidy up your area because I have found a lot outside, um, just litter, just not good. Um, so yes, you can always get that or somewhere along the line you can only find them from family or friends. Um, but like I said, you can also buy jewelry backings to use those. You want to try to use um, like construction paper or a paint strip if possible. And a good way to do that would be um, to fold it in half and then try to just cut a half of a heart out of this side and it usually works pretty well. So that's a way to do that. Now I got mine cut out. Um, these are not placed down yet. I'm just trying to show you without losing them because they are so tiny. Um, so then you're going to basically figure out exactly where you want them and then pick them up and put some glue on the back or you can put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Um, I wouldn't recommend using E6000 for this particular step. I think it's a little too strong because um, we're going to do something later that's going to lock it in more. So I typically just use some tacky glue. For this, you could probably even get away with using Elmer's white glue or school, go or school glue. Maybe even a glue stick. This step, um, bare minimum of gluing down because like I said, we are going to do something later that will hold it in more. The good part about you using light glues for a step like this is that once you get it down with the glue, you can gently slide it around to get it exactly where you want. If it's not in the right spot or if this one doesn't end up going on in the exact same spot, uh, spot symmetric, or so you can move it around. That's why I also recommend using not E6000 or hot glue for these particular steps. You can use a ruler for this step to get it perfect, but I just kind of eyeball it. Um, so now we're going to let this dry and 
you can choose to do this next step while it's drying or you can be safe and let it dry completely. But now we're going to draw the face on with a Sharpie. You could also try to cut it out with a black piece of um, paint strip, but I was not so successful with that. So I'm going to draw my face on and then I will show you how to complete it. Now I do recommend using a Sharpie fine tip marker. This one is just um, one of the regular Sharpies. Um, all of my fine tips were dead, but I do definitely recommend that for the face so that way you can get um, a more exact arch in their spire. Mine is not good at all because the tip was so big and this emoji is only one inch. So it's very small and the tip is very big. So I definitely recommend a one inch for, I mean, a, this is one inch, a fine for that. So your emoji is basically done. What I do, um, you can stop at this step if it's just for you and you don't really care too much, but since I sell them, um, I add a dome on top Instead of just mod podging it, I add a dome on top to make it all stick better and look better. That's why this one's more glossy and it looks more like glass-like and finished. And then what you're going to do is just um, take your recycled bottle cap. You can also buy bottle caps. I, I don't see the point of that. I'd rather recycle it or buy a jury backing. Um, so yes, you can buy that. Make sure it's clean and then... I use tacky glue in it, but in this step you can absolutely use E6000, it definitely helps. Um, I haven't tried hot glue, I, I don't think that that would work very much, I, I have seen E6000 working a lot better, So and my tacky isn't having an issue. So I just put it generous amount down, plop the emoji down, push down on it. And then once that dries, you can flip it over and then you can, um, I use E6000 and Tacky to just put on a magnet on the back, a strong magnet. I do not recommend the rolls of magnets. I would get individual magnets. And a tip that I use is so that way you know if it's strong or not, make sure when you go into the store that the packages are sticking to each other because that would tell you that the magnets are very strong. If they're not sticking to each other, most likely they're not very strong. So I glue that on. You can also hot glue on a pin backing, any sort of thing like that to put it on a hair clip, anything like that. So this is mine. And this one I will finish when their hot eyes dry. And um, if you would like to make your own, you can definitely do that and let me know. I'd love to see them. You can follow me on Crafty Amino. I've already posted this one a few days ago. And um, if you're interested in buying any of mine, I will probably be posting them on eBay soon. But if not, if you don't see it there, definitely email me. I will leave my email in, in the description and we can talk about that. Um, and if you did not want to do the hot eyes, basically you just take the Sharpie and draw on the regular eyes and any type of face that you would like. That's my tutorial. Hope you have a good day.